and uh, it was a it was a definitely a, a big game for us to bounce back. How's Jordan still as a reporter? Uh, I need some work, but he's not too bad. What about the Gronk on the five on three? How well did he play? He's got a great. <laughs> He's got a great presence in front of the net. I mean, uh, he gets that big Gronk buddy going there. It's hard to move him, but uh, I have to check the replay and see that if that one actually hit a stick. I'm not sure if it did or not. And that's a wrap. After Jordan's wrap, the team put a wrap on Miami and boarded a plane headed north to Tampa. And go they did to their new hotel in downtown Tampa, where they shut it down for the night. Following a day off on Friday, the team headed to suburban Tampa for practice Saturday morning and another round of soccer. And they were back on the ice for about an hour and a half. I've got to thank the guys who made the schedule to you know give us a couple days here and uh, with the grind that we're going to have coming up, you know it's especially nice to have all the guys together on the road and uh, just get that couple days. We're going to be seeing a lot of each other, but uh, you know we're going to be at the rink most of the time, so uh, it's nice just to get these couple days, enjoy the sun. Sunday morning meant another bus trip to another arena, but not before fighting through crowds of Penguins fans. Once inside the arena, Crosby and his teammates warmed up in the hallways, but unfortunately, things did not go as well in Tampa. Richard Boyle with a shot, so it's not a score. Harvey Singleby bangs it in on the rebound. After the game, the gear is loaded back up, and all the people and equipment head right back to Pittsburgh. Our Tampa game was was probably our worst game of the year, so uh, we. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll take the two points on the road trip, but we need to uh, you know, have our best outing tonight and, uh, and bounce back.